Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Frost, and welcome to Let's Play Stardew Valley. Now, I, I love this game. I don't know what it is about it, but I've just always had an affinity for this game. It's just, it's so peaceful, so calming, and just a great game to play when it's a rainy day and you got nothing else to do. And I mean, it, it just, it, there's so much passion poured into every single aspect of this game. Like, it's impossible not to like. So anyway, let's jump right in. <sighs> name. Frost. Farm name. Frosty Farms. Favorite thing. Hmm. We'll do a rather obvious one here. Animal preference. It's a tough one for me because I, well, at least I did own a dog and two cats. Um, unfortunately, my, my pupper, my little baby girl, she recently passed uh, a couple months ago, right right around Thanksgiving. And um, one of my cats passed too a little while before that. So, um, but I, I love all animals, so, but I'm going to go with dog. A dog, because this one kind of looks like Sable. Come on, I want a hairstyle that looks like mine. No, 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 no. Alright, that's probably the closest I'm gonna get. Alright, I'd say we're good to go. And for my very special grandson, I want you to have this sealed envelope. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now, listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. Now, let Grandpa rest. So many years later. Joja, join us. Thrive. <laughs> oh god, look at that guy. He looks like he's hyped up on something. Ah, there I am. Oh, am I, am I actually playing now? Dear Frost, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy. Frosty Farm! It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. 
P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? <laughs> sure thing, Pops. Stardew Valley, 0.5 miles. Huh. Look at little birdie. Hey, birdie. Uh oh, that didn't sound good. Hello? Hello, you must be Frost. That is me, the one and only. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here if you'll follow me. This is Frosty Farm. <laughs> What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown. There's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. And here we are, your new home. Oh, the new farmer! Welcome, welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. Rustic, that's one way to put it. Crusty might be more apt though. Rude! Don't listen to her, Frost. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you'll buy one of her house upgrades. <laughs> anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it here in this box. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck! <laughs> so excited. Oh, I love this game. Okay. Gotta get back into the swing of things here. It's, it's been a while. Ooh, present. I got some parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started, Mayor Lewis. Ooh, boy. All right. Well, I suppose I should get started by cleaning things up. Uh, you guys don't have to watch that. I'll be back. All right, we got ourselves a little farm plot. Now let's plant some parsnip seeds. How about a parsnip?
Beautiful. Well, now we got ourselves some parsnips. Let's head into town. Meet some of the folks. <gasps> what do we got here? A leak. Dandelion. Inventory full. Hold on a minute. the inventory button. Here we go. Need 50 wood. Okay. I'm gonna build a chest real quick. Uh, just slap the chest down right there for right now. One thing that I used to always do was I collected everything. Like, when I found stuff on the ground, like the dandelions and stuff, I didn't usually sell them unless I had, like, a surplus. And even still, I would keep a couple. Because the townsfolk like these as gifts. And also, um, you need a lot of these to fill up the community center, which we'll, we'll get there soon. Why, hello there, ladies! Jody. Oh! You aren't exactly how I imagine, but that's okay. I'm Jody. Have anything else to say there, Jody? It's a quiet little town, so very exciting when someone new moves in. Having a farmer around could really change things. What's your name again? Carolyn. Hello, you must be Frost, the new farmer. I'm Carolyn. My husband runs the general store around here. And have you met my daughter, Abigail? She's the pale one with the purple hair. I'm, uh, <clears throat> I'm not gonna give, like, a distinct voice to every single character in this game. But, like, Mayor Lewis and there's a few others who are, like, who kind of pop out that, you know... But when it comes to, like, just the general population, I'm just going to stick to, like, a normal voice. Because that's going to be really strenuous on my vocal cords. <laughs> the Egg Festival. Flower Dance. Emily's birthday. Haley's birthday. Lewis's birthday. Vincent, Pam, Shane. Wow. Okay, so, um, my game actually crashed right after I walked into Pierre's there. I'm also rendering a video while I'm playing this, so probably not the smartest idea. But, uh, yeah. So, I had to restart the day, and then I guess I mined one too many trees, because I passed out. Um, so, yeah, it's day two now, but I got back to where I was, like, right after it crashed. So now I'm just patiently waiting for Pierre's to open, which actually did it. I think it might have opened, actually. Nine. Okay. That's what time it opened. What? What do you want? Go away. Okay, then. Dick. Nine o'clock! Pierre! Welcome to Pierre's! Hey, it's Mr. Frost, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. Well, thank you, Pierre. I appreciate the offer. Maru. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. That's it? That's all you gotta say? Oh, no. You know, with a small town like this, a new face can really alter the community dynamic. It's exciting! Methinks that you are a smart person. Hello? Can I talk to you? No? Don't mind me, Doc. I'm just kind of barging in on you. 
It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. I perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all the residents of Pelican Town. It's rewarding work. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. Well, thank you, Emily. I appreciate the offer. Wouldn't it be nice to live in a town where like everyone was this nice in real life? Take notes, people. Stepping on the beach. Gone fishing. I'll be back tomorrow. Hey, Mayor Lewis. So, how was your first night in the old cottage? Your grandpa used to complain about the rickety old bed, but I think deep down, he actually loved that house. Well, he did say in his letter it was his most prized possession, so yeah, yeah, I, I think he loved it a lot. Well... There's plenty of other people to meet, but I'm sure I'll meet them in due time. Frost, someone dropped you off at the clinic last night. You passed out from exhaustion. You've got to take better care of yourself and go to bed at a reasonable hour. I've billed you 50 gold to cover your medical expenses, Dr. Harvey. See, that's because I passed out from exhaustion. <laughs> Hello there. Just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I got something for you. Willie. Okay, Willie. I thought you... Well, okay. <sighs> Making me walk from one end of the map to the other, are we? Just doing it to get the fishing pool. Ahoy there, son! Yeah, you know, I, I was giving him kind of like an Arthur Morgan. <laughs> Kind of accent. I think I'm going to go with like a more like sailor. <clears throat> Ahoy there, son. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet you. Ah, I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. It was a big haul. Sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Here, I want you to have me old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive. And hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. <laughs> like the Zelda. You received a bamboo pole. Hey, 
There's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now. So come by if you ever need supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. Arr, 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 arr. That's what my old pappy used to say anyway. Alright, well, I think I'm going to leave this episode off here. With every fiber of my being, I thank you guys for watching this video. If you like what it is I do here, don't be afraid to hit that like button. If you want to join the Clutch Squad, hit subscribe. And don't forget to ring that bell so you can be notified the next time I post a video. This has been your friendly neighborhood Gamer Frost, signing off. <laughs>